Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 1, Episode 1, Young Jedi Adventures. I saw this like a week ago, whenever I posted the Nubs video. I saw a blue, what I thought was an Ewok. It's a Pooba. And then somebody in the comments explained to me this is a prequel to what the original Star Wars was. I don't know exactly where it falls, but it falls somewhere in the timeline of the life of Yoda. Look at Yoda over there. That is Yoda. I wasn't 100% sure it looked a lot like him, but we have seen other of Yoda's species of recent, and there's Yada and all these other people back in the day, and this is a prequel, so it kind of makes sense that there would be a Yoda-type creature, but I'm like, let's not assume it's Yoda, but it's Yoda. It's definitely Yoda. Nubs is the blue Pooba that looks like an Ewok. There is obviously a whole crew here. I don't know what the race is of the girl next to Yoda, but right here looks like a Han Solo type. It looks like there's a BB-8 type droid on the shoulder. Then we have the kid in the front. I don't know who he is. I don't know who any of them are. Really, all I know is Nubs and Yoda. I got up this morning. It is May the 4th. I was going to watch the first two episodes because on IMDb and other sites, it said the first two episodes drop today, May the 4th, and then one per week will drop thereafter. I see all seven episodes, or at least I thought. There's seven episodes up right now. I don't know if they're going to go away after today. Maybe it's a bonus for May the 4th. Maybe it's an accident, and maybe it is just intentional, and there's seven episodes. I then looked further into it, and there are 14 episodes total. So maybe there's just a lot of confusion. There is countless times I do shows on the channel where I look at two or three different sites, and all of them are wrong. So... I don't know what to think. All I know is I'm probably going to do at least two. Maybe I'll do more if I'm really into it. I'm also aware it is more geared for younger audiences. Somebody told me 10 to 12 year old range was what they were going for. I think I'm suited for that. That's why I wore my, my wicket hat because I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing it because I feel like I'll just think it's adorable and cute. And honestly, when we watched the nubs short, it was two or three minutes and I was totally engaged. It's very vibrant and bright and, like, happy-go-lucky kind of things going on. It's nothing crazy violent or serious or things I need to think about long-term, where, like, every other show I do, I'm like, all right, is this going to have some effect on something five episodes down the line? It's probably just going to be a good old time. So let's check it out. We'll see how it goes on the first episode, and then we'll go from there. You guys want to see more of what I do? In the description of every video is a link for Patreon. You'll see these in full unedited. If we continue to do it, I don't know. We're going to find out. I don't see why I wouldn't enjoy it. If I like the two to three minute short as much as I did, there are about 22 minutes if you take out the credits and stuff. In the description, like I said, Patreon, full unedited, Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, Legend of Korra, Death Note, Adventure Time, hundreds of shows. We have the entire series of Clone Wars unedited. Go check it out. If not, Season 1, Episode 1, Young Jedi Adventures. That's nubs. Oh! So he's not only Jedi power, he caught bricks. They're levitating objects. They're flying speeder bikes. And they got a little Millennium Falcon like ship or something. All right, I dig it. That was a great little intro. Younglings, the time has come for you to see more of the galaxy. I mean, it looks Sending so you great. To different teachers. Learn, explore, help others. Mm. Thank you, Master Yoda. D, are the younglings ready for their shuttles? All but three, Master Zia. I'm gonna match List, it out. If it nubs, redlines, I'm sorry. And Kai Brightstar. Liz, no. You have Liz, much no. Desire. Okay, Kai, Liz, Liz. Best idea ever, Kai. We need to get that beacon without those droids slowing Oh my god, it's American hey, Gladiators in the future. I love that it's a different kind of looking practice droid. I like that Nubs is adorably. <laughs> Pleasant, but also looks like he knows what he's doing. Hi, we can help. Uh, Nubs was just doing like little twirly things with the lightsaber. I mean, this dude is sending off five. You don't need to do everything alone, Kai. Yes, we broke our record. <laughs> Look at Nubs. See, he's super strong. <laughs> our shuttles to Tanu are leaving. Sorry, we're late, Master Zia. <laughs> you okay, RJ83? RJ83, is that what she said? Huh. Do you know who the pilot is? Ooh, are we yeah. the pilot? The Amazing. Pilot? Sure. <laughs> That's me. Uh, but you're a kid. Uh, you're a kid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the name's Nash. 
Nash Durango. Nash Durango? That is an amazing name. I'm Kai. Nice to meet you both. There are a few things I haven't had a chance to fix yet. <laughs> yeah! We have All little right, kids flying planes to throughout space. space. That'll get us to Tanu fast. RJ. We have a little time until we arrive at Tanu. RJ will watch the cockpit while we hang out here. <laughs> Whoa. Hey! Ah! That's Giggs. I'm taking her to a new home at an Giggs. animal preserve on Tanu. I read about these. Never mind. <laughs> she likes you. Hollow games? Sure. We got a hollow board. We oh my god, it's a freaking hollow board. I love that we have. Looks like we're about to arrive It's like it reminded me Come so on. much of Han Solo's ship. Even the cockpit. Look at the look at the shot with Welcome the cockpit. To Tanu. My home sweet home. I heard you might have Jedi with you that could help. Hi. Hi. Hello. Master Yoda sent us out here to help people. You're right. Hop. We're on Nothing, our way. Nothing. Nubs. Ramp bricks. Tossed him. That was a lot of fan <gasps> service. There's a little Samorian guard. My hometown. It's a thermal detonator. <gasps> like that. It looks like Bosk. Call me on this comm if you need any help. Thanks, Nash. We can do this. Together. Ready? I'll take this hat, too. <laughs> Tear you, Tabor. Get that stuff back, pirate. It's not yours. I'll deal with these Jedi. Look at this dude. They're like kids that battle to the death. Nub, stop those pirates. Nub, kick their ass. <laughs> oh, my God, I love it. <laughs> oh, my Table God. Table for one. Some skills. So do you. Okay, Kai has to be. I mean, he is in the forefront. Kai's got to be like the best Jedi of us. Um, My cafe. I got it. Oh, all right. Use force powers. The force Swing it like a bat. With me. Have fun, the force Jedi. is with me. <laughs> I can't do this alone. Nubs. Liss, Nubs. I need your help. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tabor's still getting away with our stuff! Nash, RJ, come in! Hurry! Bringing it up, RJ! And the what cockpit! Now? I'm in! <laughs> RJ Now, Nubs! Ah, oh, yeah! No, Quality. that's mine! No, it isn't. We'll fight you to the death. It's Look, there's this. a hammerhead. Make sure you Jedi wish you had never come out here. Look at this ship. Children are flying at gigantic spacecraft. Oh my god, and it was Nia Nub. That was Nia Nub's uh, race. That's our new temple? I am so proud of you. Helping people is what Jedi do. Oh my god, everyone's great. Everybody is great. Look at this, we're here. Is that it? Are we done now? We still got time. Yes, you can have seconds. Look at this crazy droid. Four? We got three or four sabers. Course, you must get by that droid. I don't know what race that is, but I feel like I know. I made it! She is our agile one, I feel like. Nubs is the, is the powerhouse. Kai, I feel like, is our leader. And Nash is our pilot, and she's a great kid. Oh, isn't he the strongest of us all? I feel God, like we should be able back. to throw himself up there. No it's a matter of, do we save our friends or go for the kill? We do both, he says. Get it? Oh, he's gonna miss. I feel like he's gonna lose. Oh, but did he get nub? No, you dropped nub! Oops. He's okay. Time's up. And we failed the training. What a mess. I'm sorry, nubs. Okay. Come, younglings. He can speak to us when he needs to. No way. He's the greatest Jedi ever! M Look Master at the music, Yoda. oh my god, the music. See, you train, I did. Oh my god, I got Kai chills. He's great, I love it. Helping others, a Jedi must. A lightsaber can always be replaced. We are invited to a festival in the town of Kublop Springs tonight. You will be performing a special demonstration of your skills at the festival. An important mission for you, I have. A mission? <laughs> Something no. for the festival you must get, hmm? If they fail, maybe they'll get sent back to their old temple and be gone for good! Maybe we should follow them and steal whatever they're after. I've got an idea. We should follow them and steal whatever they're after. That's like why we have droids, so something. we can steal maybe all your ideas and your intelligence. Argonian Ruffle Bird. See? <laughs> 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 
gloves. <laughs> Thanks, big guy. What is that okay, guy everyone, supposed to be? Buckle up and uh, follow me. <laughs> we left the seeds. Oh my god. That was me calling for help. Tabor! He already got the freaking seeds. <laughs> We gotta get back to the Firehawk! It says here there's a place nearby called Yarm Tower. I've heard of it. It's where pirates hang out and sell their stolen stuff. I've got something else that'll get you there fast. Oh, the speeder bike! My god! Seeds. Something must be worth something. Ever Palpatine's yeah. right hand ass. Anything. Come on. Let's go back to our ship. Look, he, he's got to be, either he's just awesome, no. or Nubs is What's a kung fu martial arts expert. I found the seeds! <laughs> oh, Nubs! Nubs did like a form of the running man backwards into a bunch of suitcases. No one heard that was the trash droid, wasn't it? Square. This belongs to Master Yoda. Get those seeds! <laughs> oh, what's this about? Oh, yeah, get out of here. Here we go. Yes, you made it! And it Beautiful. looks like I'm just in time. Beautiful. Jump aboard. Jump on. Back. Oh, not missed. That reminded me of the old school video game for Super Nintendo with okay. the double jump no, flip onto saber. the ship. It's mine. Oh, it's the lesson learned. Do you go for the saber or do you go for nubs? Now it's life or death, possibly. You gotta go for nubs. Yoda told you. You can. There you go. Maybe he'll still fight for Anna. Yoda said, live another day. You can always make more sabers. See, he's kind of pissed. Kai is like, I did not want to abandon my saber. Look at this, we're putting on the show. That was the show. <laughs> Sparkle fire seed. It's just to make fireworks or a something. A symbol of friendship. Who like these seeds will grow up strong. They probably only bright. grow in the <laughs> eclipse type thing. Maybe it's just like fancy fireworks to celebrate the event. The mission was learning, Kai. We got some flower fireworks. A little bit of everything. I lost my lightsaber on the mission. Some Jedi I am. A selfless choice. What if Yoda's like, I, you're out? You helped others. Yours. Now it is. <gasps> he got Yoda's saber? Are you shitting me? Thank you, Master Yoda. Kai Brightstar, a great Jedi you will one day be. You got Yoda's <laughs> saber. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. All right, guys, fantastic, amazing show. Way better than I expected, I'll be honest with you. When I saw the short, I only saw the one short. I watched Nubs' short. I was thinking about watching the rest, and I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just watch the show? It comes out in less than a week from when I watched Nubs. Fantastic fan service everywhere, but honestly, in a show that is more directed towards younger audiences, I love the way they're doing it. It's Almost nonsensical, but also, who am I to say that the world isn't the way it is? It's a prequel, and we're dealing with a galaxy far, far away, but there is references galore. I saw at least a dozen different races and species of aliens and stuff that we see throughout the Star Wars movies, especially the originals. I saw Hammerheads. I saw Nia Nub type guy. When I say their names, I know it's not them. I'm saying, like, it's their type of person. There was a Greedo looking dude, Hammerhead, Nia Nub. I saw obviously Yoda, the Gamorrean guard. Tabor looks like what Leia was wearing when she infiltrated Jabba's palace. Bosk. Bosch was the bounty hunter, right? So Bosk, I don't know. That's what Tabor looked like. And why is Tabor's name rhyme with Saber? Maybe it's just because, but I feel like maybe that's how they arrived at his name, whether or not it's relevant in the show. Kai Brightsaber, if I'm saying his name right, is amazing. Nubs, my favorite still, because he's Nubs. Nash Durango, what uh, unexpected treat Nash is. Great name, first off. Nash Durango, it might be my favorite name of the entire show. Flies a ship that looks like a mix of a half a Millennium Falcon with an A-wing and has a little robot on her shoulder named RJ87. I believe that was what it was, RJ87. Has a bunch of critters, a hollow board on ship. And then we got... Lys? It was L-Y-S. I think it's Lys or Liz. Either way, that sounded like I'm saying the same thing, but I was saying it slightly different. She really didn't have as much 
time, I feel like, as everybody else, but I enjoyed her for what she was. She was kind of like the in-betweener on this episode. I feel like, if anything, this was Kai's episode, and introducing all the characters, yes, but more so Kai. Kai was the one that learned the ultimate lesson. Kai is the one at the end that Yoda approached and was like, yo, you did what was right. You chose your friend over a saber. A saber could be replaced. And you know what you're going to get? You're going to get my saber. When I was your age, this was my saber. And he gets Yoda's saber. So talk about the ultimate lesson learned. You not only learned your lesson and made Yoda proud, but he honored you with his saber because you lost yours. You can't lose that battle. And Nubs also has superhuman strength. I, I know I kind of just went off on, on a rant with that. But Nubs, I did not expect that. I don't know if I saw that in the two to three minute short we saw of Nubs. But he was like catching giant blocks of stone, throwing them, whipping them. Clearly a powerhouse of strength, even though he is the tiniest of all. I don't know what else I'm missing. But I honestly just want to edit this up and jump into another one. So if I missed anything, we'll say it in the beginning of the next episode. You guys want to see more of what I do? Full unedited episodes of all the shows on the channel. If you're seeing this on YouTube, odds are we're one or two episodes ahead, maybe done with the whole series. Check it out. Hundreds of other shows, Legend of Korra, Death Note, Adventure Time, My Little Pony, Clone Wars, the entire series in full unedited. Check the link in the description for Patreon. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.